My name is Mike Elskin. I'm a staff attorney with Disability Rights Nebraska, and I'm going to talk to you about probably one of the most complex concepts and, and systems that exist, Social Security. Uh, the Social Security uh, system is complex in part because it was generated over decades by different Congresses for different purposes. So. Uh, part of what I'm here to do is try and clarify some of the differences. Uh, the, there are three major Social Security uh, systems, uh, Social Security Retirement or SSR, Social Security Disability Insurance or SSDI, Supplemental Security Insurance or SSI. SSDI uh, was to address the situation where people were not able to work not because of their age, but because of a disability. Uh, SSDI is also an insurance program that provides a, a defined benefit. Um, it continues on as you, long as you remain disabled. Now disability under the statute uh, means that you are unable to work what's called substantial gainful activity. Uh, substantial gainful activity at the present time is $1,180 gross per month, but that changes every year. Uh, so uh, an individual qualifies for SSDI if they have a, an adequate work history and they are disabled, uh, meaning they cannot work over substantial gainful activity for at least a period of one year. SSDI benefits start uh, six months after your disability date uh, and continue as long as you remain disabled. Uh, you are subject to periodic reviews of that disability anywhere from uh, 18 months to seven years depending on the disability that applies. Um, if you remain disabled you continue to receive benefits. Uh, there are a lot of uh, programs that are designed to allow people to move off of Social Security uh, disability and uh, those are very complex and would take a totally different uh, area of uh, coverage. SSI arose in the 1970s. Uh, it is a needs-based program for individuals who are uh, disabled or who have reached retirement age but don't have enough work history to qualify for adequate uh, SSR. Uh, the SSI program is designed to provide a floor for those individuals who cannot work either because of age or disability who do not qualify for either SSR or, or don't make enough through their SSR or their SSDI. Um, as I said, it's needs-based. You can only make a certain amount per month. Um, you can only uh, have certain assets that are countable assets. Uh, if you exceed the asset or income limitation for SSI purposes, it doesn't matter if you're otherwise qualified, you do not receive SSI. So uh, individuals who are on SSI may have some work history but not a, a sufficient work history to qualify for either SSI, uh, SSDI or SSR or uh, their SSR and SSDI payments fall below a certain floor. Uh, the purpose of the SSR program is to provide uh, income for individuals who have a work history uh, who have reached an age of retirement. Now that age has uh, drifted over the years from uh, 65, uh, it's going up as far as uh, 70, and there's proposals to make it even longer than that at the present time. The, the Social Security retirement, uh, a person who qualified for Social Security retirement uh, receives a monthly uh, check. That check uh, is based upon their work history uh, but it continues regardless of how long uh, the person is uh, retired. 
This is known as a defined benefit plan and all Social Security at the present time is a defined benefit plan. That is, your benefit is de uh, defined by the, the work that you've done and not how much you've actually totally deposited. It does not terminate simply because you outlive uh, the system. I've thrown a lot of letters at you. Um, unfortunately, uh, Social Security lives by those acronyms. So basically, uh, the three primary coverages are SSR, retirement, SSDI, which is a disability uh, payment that's based upon your work history, and SSI, which is a uh, disability payment or retirement payment that is paid because you're, you don't have a sufficient work history. So uh, if a person is receiving Social Security and they're not sure what program they're under, uh, it's important to find out from the Social Security Administration. And I'm glad that I could try and clear up that muddy topic, but um, part of what our agency does is try to inform individuals with disabilities about what their rights are.